Good morning. It's the day of the event. I'm getting my truck warmed up. Jake, Seth, and his girlfriend are getting Jake's bike prepared on the other side of the house. I gotta put this stuff in the back of the truck. We're running five minutes late. No big deal. The Duramax will get us there in plenty of time. Back up to the trailer, take off. I want to stay warm. I don't care what you think in the comment section. Helmet and stuff though? Yeah, I get everything. Well, I made a wrong turn, so I had to go through a cornfield. I gotta go over there. We just got some stuff to eat. I wonder if everybody's in the truck. Oh, everybody's in the truck. Good. Shut up. You're in there for like 15 minutes. I had to take two sh We made it to the event. It kind of freaked us out because like 200 yards back, we saw absolutely nothing. Look at how fast those clouds are moving. It's currently 9.02, the race starts at 9.30. We still have to sign in, unload, un unload dress. dress up. What else, Jake? Warm our bikes up. That's a big thing. That is a I huge a thing. Piston, so. Seth, Seth's bike might not even start. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that, Seth? I think it's just cold. <laughs> How you doing? How's going? Good. You got three racers? Yeah, three racers. All right, three of those bad boys. Turn those in over the tower. Okay. Everybody print and sign for the insurance. Okay. Jake, are you excited? I'm excited, but I want to get things rolling, dude. You better just relax. There's some nice equipment around here. Yeah. Yeah. I need to build a, a dirt bike stand. I realized that after working on the bike uh, yesterday. Seth, did you get as nervous as I did when we when the GPS had arrived and you didn't see anything? Dude, this wind is cold. Huh? I got a little nervous. We're being rushed. We only have like uh, five minutes. My bikes are warming up. <laughs> the race. Hey, how long were you and Seth waiting for me? Oh, we're not too terribly long. Like how long? I don't know. I was here probably 10 minutes. Seth was here probably four. <laughs> My first ever hair scramble. I finished, so that's good. Um, definitely, definitely tiresome. I felt my my body cramping up, and luckily I had some minerals in my water, so I think that really helped. Yeah, freaking 10 minutes until the race is over. I went to like put my left leg down in one of the turns and it cramped up and I'm like screaming and I'm like I was really screaming and it worked its way out it's still really sore though I needed that mineral I'm coming in this one turn and this whole arm like just seized up Seth found the burdocks yeah wiped out the burdocks I found a very good Jake and Seth said this is the best track they've gone to so I'm glad that that was my first one it's definitely cold out here look at the size of this thing that thing's huge Dalton did five laps. 
Seth did five laps. Jake did six laps. Six? Yeah. You did end up doing six? Yeah. He came in fourth out of 38. Yep. Seth, I don't know, you got... Huh? I came in uh, eighth place. <laughs> Seth, please don't mind. Don't, he, okay. he... I came in, I came in uh, fourth place plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> He finished his first hair scramble. Yeah. They, they said they said that this it was the best hair scramble out of them all, so I'm glad I went to this one out of all of them. Seth came in 24th. I came in 26th. How many times you wipe out, though? I wiped out probably six times, and a couple of them were real hard. Yeah. But luckily, I had the gear. So. Yeah, the thing is, you can't post this. Yeah. What do you mean? YouTubers are gonna be so mad at you that you didn't film any of the race. Yeah? They're gonna be so upset with you. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, this is my first hair scramble. I didn't know if the GoPro would survive or stay on my head. Perfect on the grippage skin. I think I like the motocross uh, jumps the best. This guy's got a wall. Well, look what it's made out of. It's made out of tires. And that's been up for a while. Yeah. For sure. That's called proper recycling right there. I don't know how, but Jake found a twist tie on my trailer. This piece of plastic's flapping in the wind, so he's trying to fix it so that it doesn't come completely off. All right, Jake, I'll meet you in the truck. I'm always having problems, no matter what. <laughs> he's always got problems. <laughs> I don't know if it's the KTM thing or is it the Jake thing, I don't know. Got ran over. Well, that's unfortunate. Did anybody help you out? No, they, they did. Did anybody pull over and ask if you were okay? No. <laughs> you got straight. He hammered down right after he ran me over. I would too, I would use it for traction. <laughs> the thing that took the most energy out of everything was when you stalled that damn bike out. You had to kick it. And I kicked my bike over 50 times. Yeah, 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 last night this bike wouldn't even start. Yeah. It, we didn't think that it would start at all today, but it did. We got there at perfect timing, perfect timing. We signed it. I don't it. know about perfect. I would have liked to have been there 25 minutes earlier myself. Yeah. It was perfect timing. The lady at the counter was like, are you guys old? No vice? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're going to need to delay on the race. We're going to need to delay 20 minutes, okay? It's <laughs> us. Uh, did they actually delay it? Yeah, yeah they, did. they did. You saw them on the walkie-talkie. Are they good? Yeah. Your bike kind of twisted. Held my hair for days. We made it to a local eatery. I think it's Seth and I got the same fresh thing. Fresh I think we got Pittsburgh uh, salads. Um, Are you alright right now? No. Your vocabulary is off. My vocabulary is always off. Truck sitting right there, front and center. I don't think that's a parking spot, but uh, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. The main benefit for me is getting together and hanging out with everyone. That that is one of the biggest benefits. Good call, Seth. Good call. I like that. Yeah, that was a good answer. It's that and it's a lot of fun. The track is really nice. Very nice, very nice. I was thinking that you guys were going to say that that was one of the nicest tracks that you guys rode. That was fun. Because if you said that was bad, I would have been like, man, those other tracks must have been pretty good. Lunch was good. I think everybody's going to go home and take a nap except for me. I got to make today's video. Yeah! We made it home safe and sound. Sets full of jokes. He's Mr. Funny Guy today. Jake and Seth didn't get very much sleep last night. And then you come out and you're I got, I think I got like seven hours. How do you hang on to this thing? What do you mean? I gotta fix that. I gotta fix it? It is shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wrong. Got the throttle on the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> that tire, Jake. I want to thank you very much for that tire. Yeah, it worked very well. I think it I think it enhanced my performance. Shit, where's my tires? Muddy green monster. Muddy orange monster. Look at them tires, man. Those tires are ridiculous. Look at this. This guy is decked right out. No wonder he did so well. I don't use my front brake anyway. You don't use your front brakes? I, I really didn't either on that race. I did once and then I wrecked. I, I was I'm always afraid that the front tires is gonna wash right out. Yeah, well, like I said, I used it one time and it washed right out. Get the shot though. I gotta get the shot. <laughs> I 
Just like them hair scrambles, he's got it in the bag. That was number uh, 182. Jake was 183 and Seth was 184. Seth uh, might have lost his gas tank. I, I swear there was only one gas can on there. Jake, did you see two gas cans on there? Didn't, I only put one on there and I used the bungee cord on that one. I didn't see a different gas can. It was there somewhere. I left, we left it there. No, it was, it was there. You know what? I got a shot of it on camera. You want to check it? Seth, after further investigation, we checked out the time lapse, okay? We saw, what did we see there, Jake? Did we see two gas cans or one gas can? Was it stolen? No, it wasn't stolen. We put it on the trailer. And it fucking blew away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Because <laughs> it was on the trailer. Someone strapped it right next to my bike. Who strapped it? I did. You strapped it? You want me to get, I'm taking your gas can. My bungee strapped it next to the You bungee strapped it? Well, I didn't throw it through the handle, but I put the bungee strap around it. And it's gone. Oh. I lost a $60 hoodie today <laughs> and a freaking gas can. Yeah, but you came and you beat me in the race. Isn't Wasn't it worth it? I'd like to beat you in a race and still have <laughs> stuff at the end of the day. What do you got to buy? A gas can. Why is that? Because somebody didn't strap mine down and blew it out the trailer. I guess it's my fault though. I should have strapped my own gas can down. Can't trust strap it. down is not securely enough. Okay, so the guy Let's said... Let's this short, dude. I have to poop again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Well, see you guys later. Well, thank, thank you very much for the experience, you guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Thank you. That's a way to end the video. Don't forget, you guys are the bee's knees, and if you don't like bees, then you're the cat's meow. But until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. We will see you tomorrow.